All right, welcome back, everybody. We're going to do some more figure drawing practice. All right, I'm trying to keep these rolling out for us, for you, for me. Uh, keep them going. And we're just going to run through the exercise. And then we'll um, slow down at the end and do some longer pose, a little longer pose. So here we go. We'll start with a two minute pose. Let's see. All right. Okay. Starting with the head and the tilted head. Hope I left room for the arm over there. Get that nice little leg shape here. Kind of going back, right? And then the foot. Ooh, let's see. Foot got a little funky on me here. Kind of a foot. We'll see. All right, and there we go. Back leg. Okay, got my legs, head worked down, back up to arms. Uh, arms coming down a little bit more. I think I messed it up. As soon as I decided to like draw stronger, I'm like, I'm gonna make bolder lines. And <laughs> I like, don't like it. Of course, of course. All right, I definitely feel like I'm just warming up here. I feel like I should be further than I am for this pose for being almost done. Interesting fingers, chest here, hint there of that, and there we are. We are out of time. Trying to follow my own advice here and not worry about it. <laughs> we'll see. All right, here we go. Another pose here. We got our mail. Nice little twist in the torso. Okay, and the shoulders like that, right? Which means the hips are gonna be opposite. Okay, looking at the angle of the leg here, it's going just back a little bit. Not, not quite straight down, as legs often do. Just getting this leg going back even further. All right, let's get these feet on here. This one, a little more on his toes. Okay, and checking out this twist in the torso. Right, going like that. Definitely want to sit that on his neck a little better, but it's only a gesture. Moving on to the arms. Okay, looking at how far down. It's going to right. Risk right about there somewhere. A little square kind of shape for the fist. That just looks awkward because that muscle goes on top. Your glutes wrap around and go on top of your hamstring back there. So it looks weird when I when the opposite is like shown in a drawing. At least, at least it, I don't know. To me, it looks really weird because even if it's just like a quick sketch like this, if I have the the uh, leg wrapping on top, it looks odd. Okay. Okay. Two minutes. I forgot the name of the person who's selling these, this reference in particular. Um, 
I'll figure it out and post it or, you know, put it up like I normally do. But yeah, I got it's a new pack I got off art station. Um, new person I found that's putting out some reference. I bought a couple packs from them. Pretty cool. And um, they had a sale. Nice little Black Friday sale because when I'm recording this video, it's coming up on Thanksgiving. So kind of cool that they have some um, sales on their um, reference drawing packs. All right, this hand is doing something interesting. It's kind of wrapped around. Hard to see. It's a little blurry. Um, the way it's wrapped. Wow, and I just botched it. Um, but like the fingers kind of coming towards us here. And it's got a really um, kind of a twist here, right, in the uh, forearm. I don't have to really worry about it too much here because it's just a gesture, but I just want to be aware of what's going on. The fingers are wrapping like that. Okay, then she's got, I'm doing a midline here of her body and how it's going down. Okay, got a nice little uh, tilt in the hips, right? Let's see here. You barely see that back, that back foot here. Just a foot little, you know, peeking out right there. All right, and I got seconds left. I got tied up on that arm a little bit. And stick. Okay, moving to a minute and a half poses here. Again, not doing as many long ones because I want to slow down at the end and do a longer pose. So I'm trying to just do three for each time. All right, this is a really interesting photo, right? He's got to the back, you can see it kind of twisting here, right? And you can see uh, like this muscle here, this glute muscle. Then you can see how the midline kind of shifts and then we kind of disappears. So we're looking up at this guy. Right, and he's got that leg way up there. All right, let's see. Again, want to uh, exaggerate more than not. Okay, let's see. And I don't think I drew that leg long enough. Ooh, and I forgot I sped up. I wasn't looking at my timer. I gotta go fast here. And arm. Just get a quick gesture for the fingers there. There we go. All right, interesting pose. I was still drawing like I had two minutes. A minute and a half, here we go. All right, let's see if I can get this leg right. I feel like I already kind of got the hips a little too long or something, but it's a gesture. Let's keep going. Okay, the leg's like turned out, right? So we got the knee kind of facing out and this leg, this bottom of the leg going, kind of almost facing us, right? And this is interesting with the foot here. That's kind of, it's folded over, tricky. Okay, other leg. A lot of it's hidden behind this one. And it's obviously turned out the opposite way. Heel. So I kind of like this little teardrop uh, uh, shape for the heel there. Okay, now let's see if I can get the arms here. 
this short amount of time. And fingers done. Out of time. Last minute and a half one. Then it's going to get ugly. All right. Pretty cool action running pose. Drawing the hands first, then attaching the arms just seems easier a lot of times. Right, here's that knee. Okay, and look at the angle here. This uh, shin is kind of in a little bit, right? Like angled in. Sometimes I can't speak. <laughs> I'm like trying to like draw and speak. And then those words come out weird. So I hope it's... Uh, I hope it's at least funny <laughs> as my thoughts get like lost. All right. Hey, I did this a little faster than I thought I would for a minute and a half. I got some time to refine things. Like this hand, maybe that's his thumb. And the fingers are splayed out kind of there. And now I'm out of time. So not really enough time to refine things. Okay, here we are. Minute poses. No time to dawdle. Okay, let's see. Shoulders are going up a little bit over there. Which means the hips are gonna have to go like that. Leg is um, tilted in, so I botch it kind of strangely up there, but that's okay. Okay, foot down. This leg going back, foreshortened a lot. All right, can I knock these arms out? This model always has interesting fingers going. Fun hands to draw. Okay, well, you know, there she is. This is, uh, I think the last video had this same uh, model. Got these ones off DeviantArt, just again through Pinterest, I guess. But so, sometimes I can tell where they come from. So, yeah, DeviantArt, kind of some cool action poses from this guy. It's nice that people make these for us. Especially the free ones like this, <laughs> extra nice. But I don't mind paying for the ones that I do. They're usually good quality. Ooh, that hand got weird. I don't have time to fix it. But it's cool to have some free ones in the mix too. Get some variety. And that's it. Man. And this arm needs a makeover. That's all right. Okay, here we go. Last minute pose. Miss Rachel Bradley. Can I think I think last video I said she's on 
Gumroad, and she is. That's where I first found her. But um, she also sells stuff on packs on ArtStation. And I know I put that in the, you know, my little whatever credit. Um, I started trying to put those on where I could, where I knew where, if I knew where they came from. Because um, people kept asking um, in uh, comments, just like where I got these from and stuff. So I figure I'll just mix it in. Also, hopefully give the artist credit if I know who it is. Some I just don't know. General internet findings. All right. Well, there we go. 30 second poses. Going to be fast. Might need to draw a little smaller. So I already know I spent too much time on the head there. But I want to try and capture all those little things that I look for, you know, even if I have more time. Twists in the um, torso. Um, foreshortening in the leg. And time is up. Can I get these arms and hands in a second? I don't know. Answer is no, I can't. All right. Oh, well. All right. Next one. Like the way her legs come together here, make this nice little shape. Okay, arms. And done. Okay, really cool pose. Let's see if we can capture it quickly. All right, doing the arm first, I don't know why. Okay, it's going to be hard to get those fingers now. And going to have to get the legs in moments. All right. Well, I know I'm taking longer now. Couldn't get that one done that fast. There we go. All right, there they are. Gesture drawings done. Okay, let's end with a long pose here. And see what we can do with the time, extra time we've got. So, we don't want to slow down. We're going to do like a six minute thing, I think. I think, as I have the timer going, that said six minutes. But yeah, six minutes. So, I, I want to keep the gesture drawing fast. I'm going to draw it a little bigger because I know I'm going to have a little more time. But... One of the points of that exercise uh, in going faster and faster is to speed up and then still keep that pace even when we have extra time. And forgive me if I've said this many times in other videos, but you know, that's what I'm thinking about. So obviously we don't have to be quite as rushed but we still want to get a quick gesture and then kind of take the next steps here. So now when teaching figure drawing, the next step is, is to kind of think through shapes on the body. And that's how I teach it. You know, and we go through a bunch of shapes that we can use for the torso and legs and all that stuff. But the 
point, I guess, that would be better to get to, but it's kind of, you got to go through kind of the shapes stage. But the point that's better is to be able to kind of mix them together, like the gesture, the shapes, and start um, getting into muscles and stuff at, the, at this stage or at the next stage, instead of doing a strict like shape stage. Like shapes, you know, I kind of use in my gesture and then, yeah, and okay, uh, look, and I say I, and I'm not, you know, the, the best gesture drawing person or figure drawing artist out there. I know that that's, that's why I need to practice, but, but I have a little bit of experience, a bit of schooling and stuff in this. So, um, you know, but I'm just trying to say, I'm not trying to say I'm like the best in the end all be all. And, you know, there are plenty of other people with other great teachings. And I love to keep learning from those people too. And I always think it's a good idea to learn from a variety of people. Um, but anyways, what I'm trying to say is that, um, if you can get to a point where you can kind of just use the shapes when you need to, you know, like if there's, you know, like I use them again in my gestures a bit. And then if something's wrong, you know, that's kind of when I need to use the shapes. If I see something and there's an issue, like a portion is off, that's when I want to kind of break down and go, okay, wait a minute. Let's see how big my shape is here. Is this right? Am I missing something? Am I not thinking about this in 3D enough? Okay. So we're going to kind of do that here. So I'm just looking at my halfway point and I'm looking at the picture and that looks about right. So a little less than halfway should be perfect. Okay. So now I've got some extra time here. So a little bit longer pose. So let's see what we can do here. So I'm not going to strictly start drawing shape lines now or shapes. I'm going to kind of look for, um, muscles look for um like the twist in the slight twist in the torso here and going into her backside so again looking for the shape of the leg The angle of the knee, right? Okay, now I'm looking at this shape of her glutes back here. You get this kind of coming out like that. Then you have the hamstring muscle kind of start there. Okay, let's see. I didn't really do much with his foot, did I? Don't have a ton of time left. Angle of the knee, like that, and then calf kind of coming from behind it like this. Ankle bone. Okay. I don't have a lot of time left here. Let's see. Get the face a little bit. Angle. We throw the nose on here. And the shoulder connecting a little bit like that. All right, let's uh, give her a little close here as I'm drawing, get a little more detailed here. All right, and we're pretty much out of time, but I'll take a second here and just add a little more. Like 
elbow. Okay, well, there's a longer gesture pose. Didn't even draw the stick yet. Okay, yeah. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, there we go. Well, hopefully you guys got a uh, nice drawing yourself and hopefully got some good practice, all right? I will see you guys on the next video.